Hello everybody, Dinobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on a little quickie video here. I just wanted to uh, reach out to uh, folks out there. Hopefully you're being good and uh, you're keeping busy during this uh, quarantine event that we're all going through. I have uh, found myself uh, completed more projects, things that I have uh, pro procrastinated, things that I've been meaning to do. One of the things was I was always meaning to go back and tweak up the Hulk Buster. I I had always intended on adding the uh, the Soap Studios wire that was released years ago, probably about four or five years ago, and it was always on on my bucket list. I'm going to add the wire. In. Um, it was actually done by another YouTuber. It was done by Budget Stark, and uh, I had always planned on doing it. That being said, though, I I, I understand that there is still a lot of uh, YouTubers out there and just regular collectors that do not believe in the Soap Studio connector terminals. And if you don't know what that is, it's little USB, uh, not USB, but little plugs that would go into the battery compartments that would get wired so that you can power up um, certain hot toy Iron Man figures, pretty much anything that required a source of battery. Uh, the chamber in here, it's about, I wanna say 23 by 23 square footage, which is about the same size as this table right here. So this is what I've been using uh, to kind of get an idea on as to how I want to display the Hulkbuster in there. And everything here is gonna be powered on by the Soap Studio. So let's, for those of you who are not familiar, this is the Soap Studio power module thingamajig right here show you right there that is the soap studio soap reactor this is the soap reactor module here and you can see i have a usb that's running to the uh light box and i have uh tons of little uh connectors here that are i'm gonna hide i'm gonna hyper you know and kind of bend in so this is one of the complaints that a lot of collectors uh don't like from the soap reactors it's all the cables but you know if you're clever enough and you're patient enough you can kind of wire some of the stuff so i just wanted to just share my ideas with the hulk buster this is technically an old idea but this is going to be a new idea for you third fourth hot toy collectors out there that uh, that are jumping in on the uh, hulk busters second re-release which hopefully you guys will get at the end of the year. Uh, so I'm really happy. I, this is one of the, the, the re-releases that I really do support. I'm happy that uh, Hot Toys decided to re-release the Hulkbuster with the additional uh, arm attachments and, and whatnot. Uh, so let me show you the benefit of the soap reactor uh, right here. Let's, uh, I just grabbed onto it and you can kind of see how it just lit up. I'll back away here. There it is. That's the benefit right there. Now, how cool is that? How how awesome is it to be able to power up the Hulkbuster, the light box, this Lazy Susan, which um, my plan is to, you can kind of see it rotating right there. But I was gonna have the, uh, the, Mark, the Mark 43 on display there as it's rotating. And the nice thing is, is that with the mirror, it'll reflect a lot of the light which will then reflect back up to the Hulkbuster. Again, that, that is the plan anyway, that is the idea. And I have this guy right here, which I was gonna hide. This is the Mark III diorama. I was gonna put the Mark III back in the Hall of Armor, so this guy needs a home. And uh, because it's plugged in to the soap reactor, it's all connected. You can, can you see the little light right there? This actually has a little light right there. You see, that's how you know it's connected. Uh, what was the other complaint? Oh yes, this is expensive. The soap reactor at the time uh, was this was this was an expensive getup. This is probably with all the uh, connectors and the actual soap reactor. I want to say two hundred bucks, uh, and I apologize. It may be a little bit less or more, but it was about the same because the more uh, connectors you wanted, they were sold separately. And I get it. At the time, this is probably, what, what, 2015, right? 
when did this come out? I want to say 2014, 2015. It's about five years ago. I thought the technology would have caught up to us that would have brought this uh, more, what's the word? It, it would have been more mainstream and it would have been more affordable. And it hasn't. Now, I know there are hot toy collectors out there that have done their own custom wiring where they're able to power up their suits and, and, and whatnot, but uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not a electrician. I'm a collector. I like things to be easy, and that was one of the things that I always enjoyed about the, uh, about the soap reactor. It was the, the ease and convenience. Yeah, it wasn't really, I guess, price right, but how awesome is that? How awesome that... I can now turn this on and off. It's just, look at that. I mean, it makes my uh, makes my boy here look so good, doesn't it? It really does. You can kind of, and not only I was able to run the wires so that you can kind of see that even the suit inside, or hold on, maybe I should pop it. There you go. There, there he is. He's in there. See, so he's he's in there popped up. I'll show you. See, that's cool. That is really, really neat. I love it. Now, I don't think Soap Studios makes this anymore. I, 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 I believe, I want to say they don't. Uh, but, like, I, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I just, I haven't seen other hot toy collectors use this uh, again the biggest you know the two biggest complaints are is that it wasn't priced right and uh everybody just complained about the wiring but for what it's going to serve me you're not going to see the warrants once i have this inside the maja case it's not going to matter so i'll be able to uh finesse it just right there you go and because it's black inside the maja case it's black anyway so it's it's gonna be able to, to blend in. Oh, this is another complaint here too. I have to drill through this module case back in uh, so that I can run an extension cord to power the uh, soap reactor. And that's gonna suck, that's gonna suck. So I'm, I figure I'll, uh, it's not like you're gonna be able to see the hole, but I'm a little tiny hole, run the, uh, and it's, it's just gonna be able, the hole doesn't have to be that big because I'm gonna run the extension cord uh, right here. I just, this is the power source. So I just need that to run through the back and then I'll be able to run the extension cord through the back of the module case, which is a, it's, it's a disaster back there, but hopefully my boy here will look, uh, will look great. This is nice too, is that when this is lit up, it'll, re re it'll reflect uh, to the back surface and help kind of accent it a little bit better. Well, that's the plan anyway. Uh, I do love, and I love, I love the uh, Iron Man 3 diorama. I really, it's one of my favorite pieces here. And this Lazy Susan here, this automated Lazy Susan I picked up in Japan. Love it. It'll look cool. It'll look alive. And then the light box, if you guys remember, uh, my boy here, he, uh, he uses it. He, well, he holds it. I'll have it like so. So there you go. How awesome is that? I mean, that's gonna be really cool, isn't it? Oh, hold on. Hope you can support that. Yeah, I'm really disappointed. I'm really disappointed that another third party company or somebody else out there wasn't able to, I don't know, copy this technology, make it a little bit more affordable. Uh, there's just no reason. I, I think with the current generation of hot toy collectors out there, they may want, they may want the benefit of powering this up. Let's pop this in here. There you go. Now, I wasn't able to power everything up. The, uh, the arm missiles here, uh, I wasn't able, I didn't have enough uh, terminals. There is a light source underneath here. I'm gonna say the, uh, the arm shield on there there wasn't anything but i don't have even if i had the extra plugs I, I don't have extra slots so and then this right here is a usb 
for the uh, for, for the light box, and then the two plugs right here. One is for the diorama, and then one is for the lazy Susan. And then everything else is to power to power the Hulk Buster. But man, oh man, it does look cool. And it's uh, it's it's to, it's the right voltage. It's not going to damage the LEDs, and uh, it should uh, should look pretty good. And it looks like it's going to fit just right. Just I'm going to have to move the uh, the Ultron out of the way, and this guy, but it should just be able to fit in this corner here. Should just work. So that's the plan. And uh, hopefully uh, you folks out there are staying safe, washing your hands. And maybe somebody out there can share some information. Maybe Soap Reactor is still making this. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they just abandoned it. It just, it wasn't a good seller. I don't know. It's better than the uh, little button, little button uh, batteries. All right. See ya.